Pende Dog Conservation is a research organization uh, based out in Zimbabwe. It grew over the years from the 80s um, primarily as a, a research organization that was seeking to create a conducive environment for Pende Dogs to thrive. Um, in the beginning, it was all tracking and collecting collection of data. But uh, in 2012, we decided to put together a strategy based uh, on open standards. Uh, this allowed us to really see what things we want to monitor, what activities we want to do, and to achieve what. So in uh, 2017, we set uh, for a big review, um, a five-year review, so that we can see what is working and what is not, again, based on open standards. Uh, this allowed us to chuck away things that we realized are not giving us uh, the results or are not uh, uh, taking us in the direction that we hoped they would take us when we set them in the beginning. So we removed those. And then for those that were uh, giving us uh, signals, the result, uh, results uh, that uh, we are uh, more or less successful towards what we wanted to achieve, we kept and we, we, we still continue to do that. We are hoping in 2022 sit and um, uh, do a big review of the whole 10-year strategic plan uh, together with, uh, with my team. So in terms of adaptive management, it is critical that um, as a leader, you take time to hear uh, the contributions of your team. So every quarter I make sure that I get contributions from the various uh, uh, departments, especially anti-poaching, the education, um, research, and uh, the health and community development. So they, they come in, we sit, and um, we discuss the challenges that they are facing in their activities and in the monitoring. And uh, if there's any issues, uh, we discuss and we agree jointly as to what is the way forward. Um, it's not always easy um, to meet everybody at uh, the same time. So sometimes I take time to meet um, the, the different leaders uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis uh, so that I can discuss specific issues that uh, they are having with implementing their strategy. Um, over the five years or so that uh, I've been uh, working on, on with the team, um, there are some issues of implementation um, uh, such as cooperation from the different uh, stakeholders that are part of the of the strategy um, sometimes uh, you have issues uh, with the resources to implement the strategy but these we thrash out as a team and see how best we can move forward but um, uh, once you realize that something is not working uh, there's no need to continue with it we check it out and we decide on uh, how to um, move on with a new activity or a new monitoring target so that uh, we at the end of the day um, uh, again we achieve our main objective which is to make sure that dogs have a, a conducive environment to thrive in. So having me as a facilitator um, uh, really was, was a no-brainer. Um, I had the organization as the operations manager and uh, I oversee most of the activities uh, that uh, the rest of the team does. So I think strategically it was important that I manage uh, uh, the, 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 over, the overseeing of the project. Um, and of course, uh, the rest of the guys who are implementing the activities themselves will be become part of, of the team. But being me, uh, me being the facilitator um, just came uh, as, as part of my role as the operations manager. And um, I think it was a good move uh, because it allows you to do 
almost both jobs to multitask at the same time as you look through the uh, strategic plan and the activities that people are doing and you are uh, completing the necessary the documentation you are also assessing the work of the people that uh, work with you um, and and it, it's 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 um, it's it's killing two birds with one stone and it worked for me and i think it worked with the team as well um, we also have the teams bringing in topics on the issues on the challenges that uh, they are facing in the in the in implementing their own uh, strategic points uh, again uh, as they talk to me as the facilitator they're also talking to the operations manager who in turn can uh, give the resources for them to do what they want to do or who can talk to the people that are maybe giving them challenges to implement so uh, it worked it worked for us and um, again at the end we uh, discuss and agree jointly uh, it's not a one man show uh, but i think it was it's, 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 it was great to have me as the facilitator or indeed to have the position that i held as the person who facilitates uh, it might not be me next time but the operations manager as the head of the organization I think it's necessary that at that level that same person can implement um, can facilitate rather um, uh, how we, 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 we look at the strategic plan and how the open standards um, are being um, uh, principles are being implemented and um, from each stage we can see how the whole cycle is going through and how we can adapt uh, to the changes or uh, in, in 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 the in the strategic plan true uh, the open standards helped uh, us uh, a lot um, it allows you see, it allows people to come together and uh, to discuss uh, issues uh, that they'd been uh, almost agreed before. This is the plan, this is what we want to do. And once in a while, you meet. We meet quarterly when it's possible, but at least three times a year. We meet and we discuss the issues and uh, we, 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 we look at... Um, whether our, our implementation strategy is working or we discard what is not working and we jointly agree on what we should use going forward. So I think the open standards has helped us greatly. There's a, there's a clear plan from the beginning and you follow it through, you have meetings you, uh, and, 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 and from, from there forward everybody is accountable and and you can you can you can really develop a team as well from from those kind of meetings so it worked for us and yes i could i would recommend the open standards uh to anybody who want to uh really follow the principles of adaptive management the open standards uh, allows teams to have a clear strategy and it speaks to you it's a certain stage of the cycle. It will not lead you astray, but it will give you an opportunity to reflect and an opportunity for you to uh, get back on track if you've gone off track. It will give you an opportunity to decide if you want to continue with the whole pro pro project or if uh, it's a process or do you want to continue with the same team. You can also uh, chop and change teams uh, you know through the process uh, of the open standards because at the end uh, you want to adapt as you go in adaptive management the next big milestones is uh, the big review in 2022 10 years have passed um, this is where really we are going to see uh, what has worked and what has not worked completely at least in the last five years uh, because we had a review in 2017 so in 2010 we we'll kind of do a five-year ten-year review um, we are hoping to get a couple of laws enforced in terms of uh, speeding uh, we are pushing on that uh, fundraising 
always we are always out there fundraising so that we can uh, fund this the strategic plan itself the activities involved are not any cheap so that's a continuous process um, we are also doing a lot of capacity building with our team we are improving on their skills um, and uh, I'm sure uh, uh, once the whole team is capacitated, we can uh, look again at uh, developing the next 10-year plan and that probably will be implemented better than uh, the first strategic plan that we did 2012 to 2022. Um, and yeah, anybody out there who is um, really interested in developing a project using open standards, I would encourage them to do so and it has worked for us and hopefully it will work for you. Okay, so to learn more about painted dogs and painted dog conservation, uh, if you happen to be in Zimbabwe, you can come to Dete uh, next to Wanke National Park. That's where our headquarters is. Or indeed, you can uh, go on the website on www.painteddog.org or you can visit any of our social uh, media handles with uh, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube. Uh, you can find us there and you can learn more about our organization and indeed about the painted dogs. Thank you.